Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you a few hints and tips about how you can get your Nitrado Daisy private server for Xbox or PlayStation back up and running if it's giving you a little bit of grief. So first up, I'm in the web interface which is probably the best place to uh, attempt to do some of these things. And let's imagine this uh, top server here is giving me a little bit of grief. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the link in a new tab and we're just going to go into the settings. And the first thing I'd always say is if you're having trouble with the server um, and you can access this, if you can access the settings, um, no matter what those problems are, just stop the server and then restart it and see see what happens. Now, if the problem is something like you can't see the server in the server browser after you do, you've allowed it to restart and you've checked your filters and you've, you've checked the name and all that sort of stuff. One of the first things to do after that is, is you go over to somewhere like Twitter and just look at the Nitrado English account and just see if there's a problem with Nitrado as a whole. You know, they may well have put an information thing out that says, uh, by the way, we've got a problem with our servers. Access is limited at the moment. You know, please wait sort of thing. And then you don't really have to worry about it. And also, for example, if you're on Xbox, have a look at the Xbox accounts over on Twitter. If you're on PlayStation, have a look at the PlayStation accounts and make sure there's not a problem with PSN or the Xbox Live network. Because otherwise you end up chasing chasing your, your tail trying to solve something that isn't a problem at your end. It's a problem either with Nitrado or PlayStation or Xbox or the internet as a whole sometimes. Sometimes that can happen. And so, you know, you could just do, you know, in the search box put um, Nitrado server problem and see if other people are having the same issues that you are because you don't want to be going in and changing things that you don't need to if it's something that really won't affect it but let's say everything's okay and it's really it's just you just doing the stop server and the restart server can can solve an awful lot of problems the next thing I would do is I would just go over to the settings just go go to general and then just scroll through and just see if there's anything out of the ordinary that you may have changed by mistake. It's very easy to tap, tap, tap in a box, click in a box and change something we shouldn't have. So what I'm specifically thinking about here is down the bottom where you've got your whitelist and then near the top where you've got your password. Make sure you haven't changed something. Um, if you've got a whitelist, is it activated? Does it have the people's names on it? And does everything um, seem to be as it should? If it's not, change it stop the server and restart the server always do that so you do a change you save the changes then you restart the server and let, to let those changes fully take effect at this time as well is if you haven't got an automated um, restart routine on your daisy private server for xbox or playstation maybe now's the time to, to have one I currently run a 12 hour restart routine. So at one o'clock in the morning and one o'clock in the afternoon, the servers automatically restart. And this gives them a chance to clear the memory. It doesn't reset the server, it's just restarting. It kicks everybody off, restarts it. And then, um, it, as I say, it clears that memory cache. And it means that there's less, less chance of the server having a crash during those other hours. Now we used to reset them every six hours. But I've been running them once every 12 hours for the last um, couple of months, and it seems fine. Things can change, though, as they change Daisy. <laughs> you know, so, so who knows? Now, at this point, if you know you've stopped the server again, you've restarted the server, you've checked everything. There seems to be nothing wrong with your settings. You've checked the accounts of Nitrado and Xbox and PlayStation, and it's something a little bit more serious. Now you've got what I would suggest. Now's maybe the time to contact Nitrado directly. Um, and there's a number of ways that you can do that. If you click on the, the support link on the page, um, you'll see you've got FAQs, the wiki, the forum, and ticket and, and phone. So obviously check out the FAQ first, the wiki. There's not that in, much information there. But if we click on ticket and phone, you can actually, at particular times of the day, you can contact Nitrado directly to see if you can uh, get a little bit of help that way. And in my experience, I've never actually phoned them, but I have created tickets, and they've sorted things out pretty fast. Now, if we come down here on the left-hand side, you can see it, they've got a German phone number for German, and they've got an American phone number for English. However, the times are different. So in Germany, it's between 10 and 6, and the English is between... 6 and 3.30 Central European time or 2 and 6.30 Pacific time in America. 
but don't make an international phone call you know you're, you're on your laptop you're on your computer if you haven't installed already install Skype and phone them for free <laughs> and you'll see at the top it's got your ID user there you'll need that to hand so that they can look at your account and they can see what's happening they can look into your servers and they can do things at their end that you simply don't have access to that way um, and then the other way of doing it as well is you can just go through and sometimes these things so you could go through and say okay well I, my problem is with the games and you can click on one of these links and then you can go through and then you can see if there's an answer already if not you can then create a ticket and then you can uh, have that sent to them um, so did you search in the knowledge base so let's imagine did there's nothing there so click on no solution found again this is we can call them um, and do it that way and then uh, create um, oh we've got live they've got live chat as well now so, so that's really cool um, and, that, and then that can that, that, that can sort things out now sometimes if this doesn't work you may have a situation where something like your um, there's some sort of corruption that's happened on your server and it may be that Nitrado can't sort it out and they'll tell you often that they'll tell you this if this is the case you know something something unfortunate has happened and this is where you then th go back to things like your restore backup and what you can do here is you can roll your server back a number of days so as I'm doing this video it's the 15th of January 2020 so it backed up this morning um, 8.30 uh, local server time so I could roll it back say yesterday or a couple of days before and I could restore that now anything that people did today will be lost any progress any loot they found or anything like that, it's going to go back in time and that may well sort things out and then you'll have to try it out if in the very worst case scenario nothing seems to work and you have a problem say with people who can't get in or they keep having bugs and stuff like this and it's nothing to do with Nitrado, it's nothing to do with Xbox, it's nothing to do with PlayStation it's nothing to do with the bug in DayZ itself because I must admit I haven't mentioned that already then, 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 then you have the nuclear option which is reinstall do you really want to reinstall the game Daisy PS4? Keep in mind that the current progress on your server and your configuration will be permanently lost. So this is just as if you just bought the server and they've installed it. So think very hard before you do that because people will lose everything. And if you, for example, you run a server with other people and you're in contact with those people, maybe via a Discord or some sort of chat group, you know, talk to them about it first. Um, because as I say that is the nuclear option so there we go hopefully it's giving you some ideas about what to do as I say the first thing is always just to stop and then restart the server um, you can restore a backup previously um, contact Nitrado support you know check the accounts of Nitrado Xbox PlayStation and Daisy as well I should have said as well just to see if there's any problems with the game um, and then you should be able to find out your problem there. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully that's useful. And uh, if you've got any other questions or comments, put them in the box down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.